Good evening, and welcome to the Wednesday evening service portion of meditation. If you would like to just settle into your own chair in comfort and joy, creating that sense of sanctuary, let us begin our meditation. Allowing yourself to simply melt into the joy of this present moment. Experiencing a sense of graceful alignment in your body. Perhaps your feet on the floor and your hands in your lap. Simply breathing in and breathing out. Using this Vipassana technique, breathing in and breathing out. And if you find that your mind wanders, there are any body sensations that come up or sounds that you hear, simply acknowledge them and bring your attention back to your breath.
Welcome to our North Hollywood Church of Religious Science Sacred Wednesday service. Welcome to everyone who's congregating, all of the staff and ministers here at the sanctuary and everyone on Facebook Live and Zoom. Uh, Reverend Mark sends his blessed love and regards. He is not with us here tonight. Let's welcome Jamie Lula and Sam Krigger. is in this place. Joy is in this place, especially when Jamie and Sam are here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us turn within for our opening invocation. Taking this moment to bring our awareness, our consciousness, our sense of love and wisdom to that love and wisdom that is ever-present bringing our awareness to that energy, that somethingness, that quality of life that has an energy that is ever-expressing, infinite, all-knowing, all-powerful, this magnificent quality that I call God. This principle of God, this expression of God is here and now present, absolutely as it always is, transcending space and time and bringing such a sense of unity I feel that sense, I know that sense, I have that sense of unity with the all abundant sense of consciousness, of peace, of joy, of love. And from this place of awareness, I speak this word for our blessed time together in marvelous sanctuary here in the Wednesday night service, knowing that this service is absolutely blessed knowing that all of the participants are blessed, everyone here giving service in the sanctuary, and everyone who brings their awareness to this service in whatever way they choose to congregate. We know that these people are blessed in joy. This place is blessed in love. We give thanks for each of the people here. We give thanks for the music, for Jamie and for, for Sam, for all of those that bring service. We most especially bring this sense of gratefulness and love and appreciation for our beloved practitioner, Liz Racy, who speaks here tonight, bringing that sense of her brilliant energy to speak the word of love, to speak the word of life, to speak the word here tonight knowing that this place is blessed. I absolutely embrace this word, knowing that it is done, that this service is blessed absolutely. In gratitude, I release this word, knowing it is absolutely done, and so in faith, it is done. 
together we say, and so it is. Amen. Please join in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive those our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste one more minute of my life. I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste one more minute of my life. There's an opportunity but to see the light of love shine as our divinity. It's sacred, so beautiful. I feel your precious presence as my life. I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste one more minute of my life. I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste one more minute of my life. I have so much more to be grateful than to be sorry for. I have so much more to be grateful than to be sorry for. Come on, y'all. I have so much more to be grateful than to be sorry for. I have so much more to be grateful than to be sorry for. I don't care how old I am or how I've stumbled down. I've got faith and good reason to let my spirit soar. Like a phoenix thundering out of its dust to sing a song of truth. I'm not stuck inside illusions or the fantasy of youth. And I rise and I sail and I pour beyond the walls I built. And I roar like a distant Mahalia singing to the Lord. I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste. I won't waste one more minute of my life. I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste, I won't waste one more minute of my life. I
life. Let's take it home, Sam. I want to waste one more minute of my life. Hello, hello, hello. Wow. Perfect. I won't waste another minute of my life. Perfect. I'm so grateful to get to talk to you tonight. I'm so grateful to Dr. Mark and Reverend Mark for allowing me to share tonight. I was, um, I've been speaking around town, or I guess Zooming. I've been Zooming around town, and um, I was sharing with Reverend Mark Recently, all of my topics have been about my husband. And he said, isn't it wonderful when our spouses give us our sermons? <laughs> yeah, OK. All right, I get a sermon every week. <clears throat> all right. Um, I always like to start with a reading. So tonight's reading is from Ernest Holmes, Creative Thought. Oh, first. If you're at home, get a pen and paper. We're going to do an experiential. This is going to be wonderful. And you need your journal or your paper or your pen. So if you're at home, well, of course you're at home because you're not here. <laughs> so do that. Get your paper and pen while I read tonight's reading. Let go of everything else. Drop everything else from your thought and mentally see more coming to you than has ever come before. Believe that mind is establishing this unto you. And then go about your business in the regular way. Never see limitation. Never dwell upon it. And above all other things, never talk limitation to anyone. This is the only way. There is no other way to grow a larger thought than this. The person with the big thought is always the person who does big things in life. Get a hold of the biggest thing that you can think of. Claim it for your own. Mentally see it. Hold it as a thing already done, and you will prove to yourself that life is without bounds. Life is without bounds. Like Jamie said, I won't waste. I won't waste. Life is without bounds. Oh my goodness. You know, we often, in, in, in uh, Hebrew, you know, uh, God actually has a name, like Frank or Joe. It's called Yahweh. And Yahweh means I am. The translation of Yahweh, the Hebrew name of God, is I am. I am, I am. But we often, we live in a place of I am not. We live in a land of I am not instead of living in the land of I am. We live in a land of I am not worthy. I am not good enough. I am not fortunate enough. I am not smart enough. Instead of living in the land of I am the expression of God. I am all that God is. I am that power, that strength, that good, that knowingness. I am all that God is. So what we need to do in our practice, we have a spiritual practice, of course. Um, and it is a practice because, you know, Sam did, didn't sit down one day and start playing the piano. He had to practice. He had to learn. He had to study. We also have to practice. We have to learn. We have to study. And when we study that place of I am, something magnificent happens, something wonderful happens. And I'm going to share with you some wonderful things. So uh, our main tools, spiritual tools, I mean, we've got plenty, chanting, yoga, et cetera, et cetera. Our, I always tell our teens our main tools are prayer, talking to God, meditation, listening to God, 
visualization, our picture of our life, and visioning God's picture of our life. There's all these different tools here. So, prayer. Number one, prayer. So I've been married for 30 years, and I've prayed for my hub husband often. When he was not well, I prayed for his wholeness, his health. When he was feeling depressed, I would pray for his peace of mind. When he was unemployed, I would pray that employment would come for him. But you know what I never prayed for? Can you believe this? I've been married 30 years. Hey, Jamie, hey, Jamie how long have you been married? 30 years, <clears throat> I never prayed for his heart's desire. His heart's desire. And so I have this uh, group, uh, prayer group. I have several, actually. But one that meets every morning, first thing in the morning, crack of dawn, in our jammies, we pray seven days a week. And I told these, these, this group of prayers, prayer people, gals, I said, you know, I've never prayed for my husband's heart's desire. So how about if we pray for that? Pray for my husband's heart's desire. They're like, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. His heart's desire was to get to be, express himself artistically as an actor in his culture. He's a coda, child of deaf adults. Both his parents were deaf, so his first language was sign, not English. So in his culture... Um, so, sociologists say a culture is defined if they have their own language, and deaf people have their own language. So he wanted to perform something in his culture. So we prayed for this, prayed for this, prayed for this, prayed, prayed, prayed. <clears throat> Ten months later, he got cast in a movie in his culture, playing a role that expressed everything he had experienced for the last 40 years. Finally, in his culture. What a beautiful, beautiful thing to happen. And after all that, here's the most interesting thing, is that two years before that, I had written down a list of things I wanted to accomplish, including what I wanted to accomplish for him. I put it in a box, I set it aside, and I just let it be. And I recently opened it. I said, oh my god. This is exactly what, what my intention was. You have to set your intention, you have to set your goal, and keep sticking to it, keep sticking to it, no matter what experience might come up for you, whatever life shows you, you still have to go back to the truth. The truth, I am, not I am not. I am, I am the door. In John, in, in the Bible, John says, I am the door. I am the door and the way. It's like perfect. God is the door and the way. We, God is like the sun, and we are like the sunbeams. We carry all the qualities of the sun. We're not the sun itself but we carry all the qualities of the sun. That means we can grow things, we can light up things, we can bring warmth, we can absolutely let something flower within our life when we have that realization. I am the sunbeam connected to the sun. I am absolutely connected, one, with the only thing that happens, God, perfection, life, love, perfection. So what do we need to do? We need to do our practice, practice. So um, I like to distinguish between visualization and visioning. Visualization is your picture of your life, and it's a wonderful tool to sit, be still, and picture your life exactly, exactly how you want it, exactly. Whatever you want, you, you see it like on a movie screen. That's visualization. Now, visioning is God's picture of your life. There's a little bit different here. So, um, the first time I was visioning, you just let yourself go, you open up, and you just pay attention to whatever comes up. So what would come up for me was purple. Purple came up in my visioning. Thanks, God, that's a big help. I totally get purple. 
Here's the cool thing about visioning. So God put that thought in my head, purple. At the time, I was looking for a job. And I was driving down Magnolia Boulevard. And there was a sign in purple, help wanted. I might have no, not noticed that, except God put that thought in my head. The vision was purple. OK, I'll go with you there. And what happened? Purple. I got a wonderful job that had all the things I wanted. Um, my own kind of time. I could set my own schedule. Uh, it paid well. It was interesting. I got to learn something new and different. It was very, very exciting for me. And I did that job for many years. And it was wonderful. But how did I find that job? Because of purple. So we have to be open. Open our mind, open our heart, open our soul. We have to be open and just say, yes, God, use me, take me, shape me, make me, mold me. I am yours. And when we do that, something wonderful happens, like what happened for my husband. Got this wonderful job doing this magnificent movie, absolutely fulfilled all of his heart's desire. And now, OK, I hate to say this. you know, I'm going to brag a bit. OK. so. Um, he has won 20 of 32 Critics Awards. I know. What? Wait, what? What's happening? What? Right. Because we anchored ourselves, because we allowed ourselves to be open, to allow something new and magnificent to move through us, because we were saying yes. He was saying yes. I was saying yes. We have to say yes. I don't, I don't I, you know, whatever your challenge is, you might have a physical challenge, you might have an emotional challenge, you might have a, a, a job challenge, whatever your challenge is. Right now, you just have to step into, yes, yes, God is. There is no other way. The only way out is God. The only way out is truth. The only way out is knowing and having awareness that God is my life, and that is all there is to it. God is my life. God is my good. God is my source. God is my supply. God is my all in all. We just have to lean into that. And I know sometimes it's challenging. It's especially challenging right now if you are unemployed. It's been a hard time this year. And if you're experiencing any of those challenges that COVID and this weirdness has brought on to us right here and right now, yes, it's difficult. But guess what? You get to rise up. Guess what? You get to prove God. You get to prove God. You and you and you and you get to prove God this day just by saying yes and allowing your heart to flow, allowing your heart's desire to be fulfilled just through the yes of God. Wow, isn't that cool? I think it's really cool. The yes of God. So right now, let's all... Got your pen and paper, I hope? Pen and paper? Yeah. Got your pen and paper? Um, I've been a facilitator for many, many times at uh, CSL teen camps. And one time we did this exercise. And uh, it was just so wonderful and beautiful. I want you all to do this exercise as well. So let's just take a breath in. Exhale. Take another breath in. Exhale. A deep breath in. Letting go of everything. Noticing any place in your physical being that is tight or hard right now. Just breathe light into that place. Breathe love into that place, your knees, your back, your shoulders, wherever there is tightness right now. Just breathe into that. And you can feel it go, ah, ah. And right now, I just want you to have a thought. What is my heart's desire? What is my heart's desire? And as you notice that, think, what must I surrender 
to achieve my heart's desire, what must I surrender? And breathe in and ask your high holy self, what must I embrace? What quality of God must I embrace to achieve my heart's desire? And now I want you to write on your pen, your paper, your journal. Dear your name, dear Liz, dear Liz, I want you to take a moment and I want you to write. Dear your name, I am so grateful for what I have achieved. I am so grateful for this heart's desire. Absolutely right now, take a moment and write how wonderful it is for all the things that you have obtained, achieved, experienced through the grace of God. Just take a moment here and write that. And write with your God name, I am. Your God name is I am. I am fulfilled. I am healthy. I am whole. I am loved. I am experiencing the peace of God. I am experiencing joy. I am experiencing the creativity of all that is. I am. So this letter, and you might continue this letter after we're done with the service, but this letter, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to, when you're done, fold it up, Put it in an envelope, seal it, and date it. Maybe you're going to date it six months from now, maybe five years from now. We did this once at teen camp, and all the kids, they were dating it like 50 years in advance. I'm like, oh, honey, I don't have that much time. <laughs> I got to date it a lot sooner. And when I did this, I dated it two years in advance. And just recently was my date. And I opened it up. And everything I wrote down has coming to true, is coming to pass. Everything that I wrote down is happening. And here's the thing, here's the thing. Not just that you date it and you put it, not that you put it aside. It was on my nightstand. So every morning when I got up, there was my letter with its date. And I'd put my hand on it and say, ah, blessings abound. <laughs> Blessings abound. So you have to take your intention. You have to continuously water it. You know, like we know here in um, our teaching, you take a seed, you plant it, and you got to water it every day. You water it with your positive affirmations, your truth. You water it with all that goodness. You don't dig it up and go, did it happen? You water it with your love and your heart and your peace and your goodness. And as you water it like any seed, it grows into fruition. Isn't that terrific? I mean, it really works. It's just delightful and delicious and lovely. So continue to work on your letter and then seal it, date it, and bless it every day. 
and bless it every day. And then in six months or a year or two years or whatever you've dated it for, you're going to find it has come to fruition because I set my intention and I blessed it every day. I did not waver. I did not dig it up and go, oh, is that happening? Is that working? I didn't have doubt or worry. I watered it with love and peace and joy and knowingness and awareness that God is making this into manifestation because that's what God does. God is a yes machine. God is a yes machine. So whatever you put into it, God says, oh, yes, you betcha. The universal law, yes, machine. Oh, yes, you betcha. So you put into it, I am magnificent. I'm an expression of God. I'm experiencing my heart's desire. I'm in a place of joy. And God says, oh, yes, you betcha. And you say, oh, I am horrible. And I, nothing ever happens for me. And nothing ever works out. And God goes, oh, yes, you betcha. <laughs> so we want to notice what we're saying, what we're putting into the God's yes machine. We want to be putting into it positive affirmations goodness, joy, our heart's desire, love, and peace, and harmony. So let's just take a moment right here. And we're going to bless this intention, what you've just written about, right here and right now, we're going to bless it. We're going to take a breath. Ah. We're recognizing God, the power, the presence, the goodness, the creator, the only thing that there is, and knowing that that thing itself is operating in and through and as each and every one of us, that right where we are, our heart, our mind, our soul, our spirit, our astral body is in perfect alignment with God, and that's perfect alignment with good, and that's perfect alignment with our heart's desire. I'm so grateful to know that we are standing in this place of truth, of goodness, of harmony and knowing that we have planted a seed tonight that will grow into a magnificent, magnificent life. Thank you, Mother, Father, God. And right now in this very moment, if there's anyone that you are holding in your heart, anyone you're holding in your consciousness that is experiencing any doubt, worry, lack, limitation, dis-ease, right here in this moment, we're bringing them into our heart and we're saying wholeness is happening, peace is happening, health is happening. This is the nature of God. This must be the nature of each and every one of us. Thank you, beloved Mother, Father, God. We bless our intentions. We know all is well, all is good. God is in charge, and so it is. Amen. So I'm going to bring Dean up here in a moment. I just want to say one more little thing, you know. Um, if, if you have been moved or touched or had an aha or an insight tonight, you give to where you have been spiritually fed. So if the song or the word or the prayer has touched you, give to where you're spiritually fed. You know, you all aren't here, but we still got to keep the lights on. So thank you so much. God bless, peace, and blessings. Thank you. Thank you, beloved Liz. Blessings to you. Are you going to tell us what the movie was? Sound of Metal. Sound of Metal. Now that's... Oh, a that, that's, that's out. I, I kind of wanted to know for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us, let us carry this marvelous sense of quiet and joy, knowing this peaceful moment and bring it into a furtherance of this awareness, of this prayer, recognizing that God is here and now present. In this magnificent sound of the word that Liz spoke, in the magnificent vibration of the beingness in this sanctuary, in the magnificent awareness of the beingness of each sanctuary in every home that this word touches, God is present. God is present in, through, and as each connectivity, each smile, each wink, each sense of love, and certainly in the word. I know that God is here and now expressing itself absolutely, perfectly, wholly, completely, because that's all that it is. It is whole. It is perfect. It is completion, complete wonderment, power, and love. I speak this word for that remarkable, unchangeable quality of spirit, knowing that spirit 
I deeply feel this. I, I know, I sense that spirit is in each person congregating for this service in any form. I know that this unchangeable nature of spirit is in that which is in eternal, whole, and unfolds infinitely. Spirit's love is here and now and forever, transcending time, transcending space. Spirit's law is here and now and forever. Spirit's expression of life is fully present, right here, right now, seen and unseen. Spirit guides us constantly, guards us unflinchingly, and comforts us absolutely. In health, we are comforted in that wholeness, that perfection, that sense of completeness that expresses through our health. Our health revealing that sense of alignment and uprightness and joy, ever movement forward. As the science of mind states, health has always been ours, always will be ours. Abundance has always been ours. Happiness and peace have always been ours. They are ours now in health, for they are the very essence and truth of our being. Our creative being, the essence of truth of our creative being in this moment, the word of God speaks through us in our creativity. Whatever that creativity may be, in that creativity of the love of a parent for a child, of a child for a parent, and that creativity expressing in any job or creative path, in any form of employment, that sense of creativity in life, in the joys and the jokes and the love and the music, in the calmness and the peace and the meditation and the prayer in the alignment, that creativity that says God is here and now, ever unfolding perfectly, ever unfolding perfectly and abundantly in prosperity. God, infinite awareness of all that is, infinite expression of that magnificent sense of abundance. And as Ernest Holmes writes, we do not expect to give a treatment today for prosperity and have a million dollars tomorrow, but little by little, we can unfold our consciousness through the acquisition of greater and greater and still greater mental equivalents until at last we are free. We are free in abundance. We are free in health. We are free in creativity. We are free in love. In this quiet moment, rejoicing for all of the loving relationships, unfolding perfectly in our life and in the lives of the people in our lives and the animal companions of our lives. Everyone we touch, this love claims itself, expresses itself, begets love, begets love, which then begets more love and more love and finally and completely then ends up love and spirit. Spirit just loves that. I speak this word right now for each of us listening to take this moment to set our own intention, to take that letter that we have envisioned in our visioning and set an intention for ourselves in silence. And together we declare, I accept this truth for myself and all beings everywhere. We bless our church. We bless all churches everywhere, synagogues, temples, mosques, ashrams, all paths to God, knowing that all paths lead us to the same God, the same truth. I'm so grateful for this knowing. I'm so grateful for this feeling, this fire in the belly, this sense of awareness, this sense of joy, this sense of peace, this sense of quiet that I am. 
that is love, that is health. I am that is creativity. I am that I am. And in that gratitude, I release this word, knowing that that brilliant suggest, subjective consciousness embraces, allows this word, and responds to this word mysteriously, magnificently, majestically, wholly and completely. I claim this to be so, I declare it to be, and so it is. And together we say, Amen. I release and I let go. I let the spirit run my life. And my heart is open wide. Yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife. But with my faith, I see the light. I am free in the spirit, yes, I'm only here for God. I release and I let go, I let the spirit run my life, and my heart is open wide, yes, I'm only here for God. No more struggle, no more strife, with my faith I see the light. I am free in the spirit, yes, I'm only here for God, yes, I'm only here for God, yes, I'm only here for God. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jamie, thank you, Sam. Yes, only here for God. This is our time in our service where we get to participate in that, that flow, that flow that comes with receiving and that flow that comes with giving. And so it is our time for affirmative giving. If you uh, want to give uh, to our beloved North Hollywood Church of Religious Science, and we would gratefully appreciate it, because as Liz said, we do need to keep the lights on. Uh, ways you can do this, as you may well know, you can go online, to our website, nhcrs.org forward slash give, and then you can uh, give your tithe there. You can also, and this is very, very easy, I was thrilled at how easy this was, you can al also text give to 818-457-3419, and then it will take your information and you can tell it how much you would like to give. Uh, very easy, wonderful. Uh, also, of course, you can call in to give your, uh, your tithe over the phone uh, at 818-762-7566. That's 818-762-7566. And, of course, you can send your tithe in via the mail if, if that's what you're called to do. So, in the marvelous quality of your sanctuary, if you hold your tithe over your heart and repeat from the love of pure spirit within me I bless this gift I send it forth to heal and bless and prosper it is evidence of my faith and belief it does good work in the world and returns to me multiplied abundantly <laughs>
let our joy, let our joy be so triumphant that we rest in God and say amen. Rest in God and say amen. Sam. Thank you, thank you. And this is our time for thank you. Of course, I'd like to thank all the folks that brought this service together today. Our vigil practitioners tonight are Gail Palat and Robert Lyon. And also thank you to Melissa K. Allen for moderating our Facebook Live today. And our Zoom team, Alma Alvarez is our NHCRS host, and Barbara Berg is our Zoom host tonight. Brenda Jordan is our sentinel, and Ray Regan is our Zoom associate. Thank you for your service. And in the sanctuary here, the sanctuary sound by Adam Keishan. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And our digital media team who are here, Doreen Remo and Nikki Sarva, led by our beloved uh, board president, Blair Thompson. And of course, our soloist, Jamie Lula, whose music is available at jamielula.com. Dot com, J-A-M-I-L-U-L-A dot com, jamielula dot com. And thank you, Sam. Thank you, sir, as always. And of course, to our beloved speaker of the evening, our beloved Liz Racy. Thank you. God bless you. Our announcements for tonight, Wednesday evening, uh, donations, as I said before, are over the phone for 30 minutes after the service, or you can go to nhcrs.org forward slash give. Uh, or use our text to give by texting the word give to 818-457-3419. And then, um, and, and just to let you know, just a quick word to say, thank you so much for all that you bring into our church. We are so beloved and so excited and so grateful to you for all that we receive and for all that you give. And we do try to give even more back. Prayer with a practitioner. If anybody would like prayer with a practitioner afterwards, you can go over to Zoom. If you're on Zoom right now, if you're on Facebook Live, you can go over to Zoom and you can have private prayer with a practitioner, a very sacred time, very quiet time, very uplifting time. Please avail yourself of this gift from our practitioners to you. If you'd like prayer, you can send an email also an email request to prayer at nhcrs.org and our practitioners get these prayers every night and they pray for them in the unified sense of God. You can also call in a prayer and leave a voicemail for a prayer request by calling the office and taking option four and that will get you in to uh, leave a, a prayer request over voicemail. Wednesday evening service with Reverend Mark LaPonce next week. Reverend Mark will be here. Meditation, as always, is at 6.50 p.m. Service begins at 7 p.m. Please join us on Facebook Live or Zoom. And Reverend Mark's talk next week will be Staying on Track. Grief Support Group, we will be having, a, a, this group will be facilitated by practitioner Carol Winokur. We'll meet this Sunday, February 14th, on Zoom at 1 p.m. That's our grief support group. This Sunday, 1 p.m. on Zoom. A memorial service per, for practitioner Scott Vance. We will be having a memorial service for our beloved practitioner Scott Vance on Saturday, February 20th at 10 a.m. on Zoom. All are welcome. The Zoom link will be found on our website. You can go to the home page, and if you scroll down, you'll see it right there. Our annual meeting, very important, very exciting. The annual meeting is for members of the North Hollywood Church of Religious Science and will be held February 21st at 11 a.m. So that's Sunday, right after the service. And it will be held on Zoom using the same link that we use for the Zoom for our regular Sunday and Wednesday services. And that link, which you used to get on tonight, you can also find at our website. 
A notification letter was emailed to all members, so be sure to check your spam and your inbox and your junk folder just in case it made its way there. And we look forward to seeing you there Sunday the 21st of February at 11 a.m. And it is important that members attend. As always, our Zoom virtual patio, before and after the Wednesday and Sunday services, join us there. Show up a bit early for the service. Come in and chat with your fellow congregants. Stay late afterwards and hear what's going on with your friends who you may not be in direct contact with. But it is the next best thing to being there. The men's group, every Sunday on Zoom at 11 to 11.30 a.m., all men are welcome. Then also, remember, we have Zoom meditation every morning, Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. Visit our website, which is nhcrs.org, to obtain the Zoom links and further information about all the events and to sign up for our weekly e-blasts and monthly newsletters. And so with that, let us bring our service to a close with our benediction. Let's just turn in within one more time. Blessed spirit, blessed consciousness, blessed God. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, ever present, ever embracing the love that is ever present, bringing us that sense that there is always possibility because in God, there is always possibility. I know that this evening has been blessed. All of the participants are absolutely blessed. All of the congregants, everyone listening to this word, experiencing and expressing that word that comes right to the heart. I'm grateful that this time is blessed. I'm grateful that this time and sanctuary has been beloved by all of the participants, by the music, by our beloved Liz, by everyone who comes together to celebrate that peace of God, which is eternal, powerful, and wise. I know as we go out into our week that we walk surely in the steps of God, knowing that all things are possible, that it is never too late, that the love of God is the light that shines in each and every one of us, to each and every one of us, out from each and every one of us. And as we go into the world, our light shines. And we let our light shine, shine, shine. I'm so grateful for this knowing. I am so grateful for this prayer, for this word, for this consciousness, and for this blessed church. And I release this word into the law, knowing that it is done, and in faith, so it is done. And together we say, Amen. Let's join one more time in song. Uh...